simplify x to the power of 7, multiply x to the power of 3. When you have the same base, we've got the same base as x, then you can add the uh, indices. So it would be x to the power of uh, 7, add 3, which is 10. And just to think, if you're really stuck with this, remember what x to the 7 means. It means x multiplied by x, multiplied by x, multiplied by x, multiplied by x, uh, multiplied by x, multiplied by x, seven times. And x to the 3 means x multiplied by x, multiplied by x. So when you multiply both of these together, you get 10 x's multiplied together. That's why. Now, m to the power of 4, all to the power of 3, when you've got a power of a power, you can multiply the indices. So this is going to be m to the power of 12. Now, to give you some insight as to why that is, m to the power of 4 cubed means m to the power of 4 times m to the power of 4 times m to the power of 4. Now, m to the power of 4 is m times m times m times m, and we're going to multiply this by m times m times m times m, and we're going to multiply this by m times m times m times m. Now clearly we have 12 m's multiplying together, hence m to the power of 12. But you can remember the power of the power rule. Simplify the following. So, I would just like to write this as uh, 36, okay, and we've got multiplied by a, multiplied by f to the power of 8, all divided by 12, multiplied by a to the power of 5, f squared. Okay, now what we can do is we can find the common factors on top and bottom. Now there is a common factor of 12 on top and bottom, so 12 is a common factor on top and bottom, so is uh, an a, and so is an f squared. So on top and bottom we can divide um, by 12af squared, and what would we get left? Well, we would get a 3f to the power of 6. And what would we get left on the bottom? Well, we would get left an a to the power of 4 and nothing there. So we could then divide the top and bottom by the 12af squared, which effectively makes it cancel, and we would be left with 3f to the power of 6, all divided by a to the power of 4. Okay, so looking at that again, if you, if you want to look at that again, um, that's our final answer. And basically what we could have done is divided the top and bottom by 12. So that would have cancelled and you'd be left with 3 there. And you could have also divided the top and bottom by an A. So that would have ended up being A to the power of 4. And you could have divided the top and bottom by an F squared. So that would be F to the power of 6. Hence 3F to the power of 6, all divided by a to the power of 4, which is what we wrote there. So either way that works for you.